All right, today is day two, and it's Thursday, April 9th. Um, tomorrow is Chloe C's birthday. Happy birthday a day early. If you have her on Messenger, make sure you tell her happy birthday and we'll miss you. Um, all right, so <clears throat> yesterday we dumped on our Skittles and we looked at how much we had, and today we're gonna do some graphing. So today it says, um, it just shows a picture of a bar graph. Um, it says amount of each flavor of Skittles. And down here, I didn't put a label at the bottom, but this would be flavor. Of Skittles. And on here, I'm gonna put the flavors on these lines. So I can go in order, I don't have to, but because I did yesterday, I'm gonna just do the same thing. So the first one is lemon, orange, strawberry, apple, and grape. And I mixed those two together. They were actually pretty good. Just an FYI. So I'm going to grab my colored pencils. <clears throat> you can actually just show with a pattern too. Um, but I'm going to use colors because I have them. And I always like when I can see. I like it when they do it in the newspapers too. They use the colored graphs. It just makes it easier. So it says lemon has nine. So I'm going to use the sidebar. And I'm just going to fill up this next one so I have a little space between. So we have nine. And then orange is ten. Yeah, I didn't um, get to eat all my Skittles because I wasn't very smart and I left them on the table in the giant gust of wind threw them across my driveway, which is okay, I didn't really need to eat them all. Uh, those kind of look a lot alike, but it did say orange. Uh, next is strawberry, which is one of my favorites. And that is 11, which is again a prime number. And when you're doing graphs and stuff, I just like the visual representation. Like if you had to ask me, would I like to just see this or this? This to me just seems easier because you can glance at it. I mean, you can glance at that too. So, but you have to look at, okay, wait, what's this mean? And this is Apple. And they had 12. I still can't believe it just went up like that. Just like a stepping stool. I can't wait to see how some of your guys' look as far as how many you have. I talked to Landon yesterday and he ended up having a few less than me, which was um, kind of a shocker because I usually don't get as many as some of you guys. There's purple, and purple's the crazy one. Look at this, watch, oh, 20. That's just nuts. I didn't put this on there, I don't think, um, the word outlier. And this is definitely one that is on the outside of the rest of them. I mean, it has eight more. It, if I were gonna put this on a, um, maybe a line plot, it would be way out. So there's lots of different ways and different graphs. But this one gives you a good representation of how many more they have. So I have all mine down for the flavors. So I don't really need this much anymore because um, I can get my data from here. So I'm going to put that over to the side. And then here it says range of flavors. So to find range, you do the biggest total, which was 20. We had 20 purples. And we're gonna do the smallest in number, minus nine, which gives us a range of 11. The median. Median is when you put all the numbers in order and circle the number in the middle. <clears throat> so you would put them order from least to greatest, so 9, 10, 11, 
12, and 20. And I'm going to circle the middle number because you cross off high or high low or low high, and then you have the number in the middle. The mode, the one that shows up the most. I don't have one because none of mine repeat, so I don't have any of the same number. Average number means that if I were to add them all together and divide it by how many flavors there are. Well, I know that we have a total of 62 candies because that's how many I counted yesterday in my total, 62, and we're going to divide it by 5. Oh, and I did put outlier. The outlier, the one that's on the outside, is the purple with 20. A little bit of distraction there. Um, so 5 doesn't go into 62 equally. So 5 goes into 60 12 times. And you would have a total of 12.4. But you could just round it if you wanted to. So that's what you would have for that. The next part of this is it's going to show my dog is loving the fact that my husband is just getting home from work. So ignore her. I do. The last part is it says use a pie graph. Use your percentages from day one to complete the pie graph. So that part I do need. And actually, I'm just going to put my percentages on the top. So this is 32%. This is 19%. This is 17%, 16%, and 14%. That's where I got these ones right from over here when we did percentage yesterday. So I just put those at the top because I'm going to fill this up. Um, I did not check, but technically, if I was going to fill 100% of this pie graph up with all of my shapes, I would add all of them up <coughs> if I was if I were being precise, I want to make sure they equal 100 um, or pretty close. Uh, last time I did this, I was like at 98%. So I didn't add these this time. So I'm going to do that on my calculator. 32 plus 19 plus 17 plus 16 plus 14 equals 98. So I'm actually at 98% again and that's because I didn't round up or down and so I just kind of left it the way it was so I'm just going to go with the center now some of these I need to figure out so 14 percent so if I'm thinking of my shape if I have a hundred and I needed to put each of these into I'm going to divide it in half just to think okay I know that if I had 50 percent but none of my flavors are 50 percent and I also, if I was going to divide it again, I would have 25%, which I also don't have 25% of anything. Um, not quite. But I know that I can get kind of close because if I divide 25 in half, so that would get me 12%. 12.5, about. So about 12.5. So the more I keep thinking about this, these numbers... <clears throat> Are not really good with that one so you know what I keep thinking is maybe if I did 10% um, like divided it into tenths if I split this into ten equal pieces so if I sit there and think about that part <clears throat> sorry I kind of have a cold I'm not feeling super today but um, if I were going to divide this into ten there's 18 I mean 180 there's 360 degrees in a circle so if I want to split this into 360, like groups of 10, if I wanted to do it divided by 10, every section would be like 30 degrees. You know, a little bit. So we're trying to figure out how would we make that 36 degrees for every section. So then that way you could color them. But what I'm trying to get you guys to think is just if you can divide these, this half, so I know if that's 25%, if I gave, if this is 25%, I'm going to give just a little bit more. So that means I'm going to do that thinking, okay, if this was 25%, now this, I'm going to give, that's the 5%. So now I've got 20, so 10 and 10. So this is going to be 20%. 
and this is going to be about 30% because now that would equal 50, so this will be about 30%. And I get, you can kind of think maybe there's a little bit more there, and we're looking at trying to get the 32%. So this is 32% for the purple. And I'm not worried about it being exact. There is some great math we can work on to um, figure that out. But this is, so this will be 19% and that will be our apple. And this is our grape. We went a little bit over by one, which isn't crazy. So if I wanted to, I could really just kick that out just a little bit. And again, I'm just wanting us to get the idea of like, what would it look like on a pie graph? But there are ways to mathematically divide your pie graph, but that's not where we're at right now. So then we have 14 and 16 is 30%. So if I wanted to do this, 14 and 16 is 30 again. So I could split this one the same as I split the other one because I need 30%. And then one's going to be slightly, so if I split this, so one was slightly bigger than the other. So this will be my 16% and this will be my 14%. Oops. And then this one over here, which is the last one we have left, is my 17%. And that is going to be my strawberry. And then I have lemon and orange. And that's about how unfair I felt like it was when I opened up my bag. And then I would just take my colors and color that in. But I'm going to let you guys go ahead and do that on your own. All right. Well, I hope you guys had fun with your Skittles. And I will see you later for Math Minute 50, which was actually supposed to be yesterday's. But we're doing it today because it was flipped around. Have a good day. Again, happy early birthday. Chloe sees birthdays tomorrow the 10th.